Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Psalm 23, 1 through 3. I've just come off a very difficult week in which it was very stressful consulting with three different business leaders. One in particular was a very good friend of mine for over 25 years. And it was, it was very sad to see how challenging his life is right now in every aspect. He's doing all the right things, keeping his business afloat, but it's just a real struggle for him. And so I'm sure this represents so many people out there. And probably the best elixir to this is Psalm 23 is one. It is such great advice to those people that are really burdened today. And so I'd like to unpack Psalm 23 one just a little bit more to be of service to you. So the first line says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. And specifically here, the Lord is our guide. He wants what's best for us. And we just need to understand when he says, uh, stop striving. Be, be still and allow me to lead. The second line is, he makes me lie down in green pasture. And so what's particular about that is he literally makes me lie down. And it's sort of like a timeout for adults. And I'm sure many of you have children. And as typical children, they get so worked up that they need to be put in a timeout. So just to regroup and get their thoughts back together again. Well, in the same way, I really believe that this is what the Lord is asking of us who've got so much on our plate. We have a great difficulty to just sit still. And so sometimes we all need a time out. And so this line is just wonderful for you to think about, to stop and to pause and to take a break. The third line says, he leads me beside quiet waters. And the point with that is leadership is guidance and the Lord is guiding your heart by still waters but you need to get still to listen to God's Word it's very hard to listen to God's Word when you're running four different directions and you're really not paying attention so the opportunity to be by quiet waters is extremely important the fourth point and perhaps the most important is this he restores my soul Many of you are working so hard, you just don't even recognize that you need a moment to restore, to regroup, to replenish, and to rejoice in the Lord. And so this is a wonderful opportunity to restore and replenish mentally, physically, and spiritually in order to do the task at hand in this very difficult time. So I'd like to leave you with this, and it comes from Colossians. It says, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart and the operative word there is let allow allow the lord to enter your, into your heart to calm you down make it intentional and try to do it just trying small times take pauses throughout the day if necessary and allow the lord to regroup into your heart so you could be more effective in your days god bless